Welcome back to the 11 life book strategy based on Torin, the, uh, the incarnation of Torin the Chosen. We're on impossible mode here and we have encountered two of the wizards, Shuri and Taran. Both of them hated all life and both of them have elements of uh, death and chaos, but um, Fortunately, they're fighting with each other, and uh, that is a nice turn of events for us. Meanwhile, we just completed the uh, spell of incarnation, giving us Toron. Besides his normal amazing abilities of super leadership, super might, constitution, and prayer master, he picked up the random ability of agility, which will bolster his defenses, and lucky, which increases his attack and defense dramatically, as well as debuffing his So, um, first thing we need to do, we got to make very, very sure our mana never dips below zero, because we, um, we're now burning more mana per turn than we are getting as income. In fact, I better let this, uh, I better reduce the burn rate by decommissioning this uh, magic spirit. Just can't afford it at this point. And I need to do a major alchemy burn to convert all this gold to mana power and because I need to put Torin right to work to building my empire, and he needs heroism to be in fighting shape. Okay, I got a second horse bowman, uh, another defender for this city, and that's, uh, that's enough for now, and I can finally, finally go to work on those city walls. Um, with all of those defenders there, I wonder if I can now bump up the tax rate. Let's see what it looks like. Let's bring it in seven. You know, that does give me a, uh, one rebel, but, uh, seven gold income sounds good. Um, I just don't feel like I can afford less than that at this point. And let's uh, start trudging our way. We know where Cherie's capital is, and so let's go there. Now, what were these two? Colossus is way too tough for me, but I believe I can take on a stone giant and uh, hopefully get some mana or gear, something that will uh, help my battle. Now, uh, I really need prayer on me, and uh, these, uh, I just can't afford to uh, cast it out of my own mana, because I'm in so much mana trouble, so the fact that I can't cast uh, Prayer yet is, is a problem because of getting whacked. Now, still, even though the uh, giant shot at me twice and the giant spiders hit me, I still only took a little bit of damage. But now that I can, I really better cast prayer. And I'm casting it out of Chosen's mana, out of Torn's mana, so uh, it doesn't cost uh, my mana pool. 90 gold and 220 mana crystals. All right, so with uh, 270 mana crystals in the bank, I can go right back to uh, casting a magic spirit. I can afford to have one around now. And let's see, what do I want to do? Um, Uh, 
I think I can beat gargoyles just fine. And again, that uh, and I'm gonna want to drop endurance on that magic spirit. Now I'm gonna be over here. So I've got this big uh, undiscovered territory up above Shuri where there may be a bunch more of her cities. I'm gonna want to get her off the board as fast as So let's go explore in that big territory above Shuri. I really think I can beat, the one problem with uh, nodes is I'm most likely not gonna be able to land prayer, but I think I can fight off gargoyles. Now, it's really a uh, probability game as to whether prayer will go or not. Oh, managed to uh, get prayer through the disenchant, or the uh, counter magic effect of the mode. And not taking damage, so that's good news. I'm not sure a non-lucky Torrent would do this well in this fight. Might want a couple more levels on Torrent if I uh, want for the luck. Okay, and 50 gold. Well, that was a very, very low bonus for uh, that tough of a fight, but it helps. And uh, there we go. And I can... Um, create another, summon another magic spirit to uh, go take over that node. So, I need to pile up um, experience and mana and taxpayers as fast as I can. So, even though it's going to anger Shuri, I'm going to go ahead and capture this city. Again with the uh, prayer. These guys are landing no damage on me at all. I need them as taxpayers. And let's. Uh, so the spearmen would take 14 turns. I'm hoping. I'm actually going to wait a little while to. So that uh, right now it would cost. Right now it would cost 56 mana. If I wait a turn, it's going to cost quite a bit less than that. And this mana is, and this magic spirit is heading for that node. And thinking that there easily can be more purple cities up there. So, what's the fastest route? It's uh, not a bad idea to uh, try to keep this guy over water. Oh my gosh. I sure hope that bear doesn't run into my magic spirit. Now, now that one turn has gone by, there's a little bit of progress to those spearmen. And because it's not going from zero, I only have to pay triple the cost instead of quadruple. So it's down to 39. I feel like I can afford that. And I've got to get over to Shuri here as soon as possible, but I can, it's not really gonna slow me down to go via this tower. All right. Um, 
The next one, I'm just going to have to... Oh, it's, it's going to show up in only three turns. So, uh, um, uh oh, I'm down two food though. How's that? I, I don't want to slow down the progress of my main capital city, especially those walls. So, uh, I might need to consider reducing my um, reducing my tax rate because of the high rebellion. But uh, for now, I need to leave my taxes up, and uh, let's let's also go ahead and do another alchemy. Um, but I, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put the farming to support this uh, these soldiers over in this town. It's gonna slow down its growth a lot, but it is what I need to do. And I just wanna get this guy over water so I don't lose him to a fight that I don't even wanna have. And this tower held stone giants, which I just did okay with. I hope it's not a nine stone or five stone giant spiders. Let's see what we get. Okay, wow. Three stone giants, and I definitely got hurt here. With the prayer up, things are going to be better. And one of the cool things about Torin is I can heal myself. If I take any more damage, I can take another heal. Since I got prayer going, I haven't taken additional damage. So I think I'm okay. Planar travel spell and a staff. So unfortunately, Torin cannot use a staff. Um, and who knows when I'll have a mage, if ever. So, uh, but I can really use that uh, 450 mana for sure, as well as, I'm now melded with that, welcome Chosen Seeker, we can both benefit from each other's knowledge. Whew. I've got green coming in from the left, purple and red coming in from the right, and I got my walls up just in the nick of time. So now that I've completed the walls, I can, I want to uh, add a sawmill and a forester's guild. These accelerate production and uh, in my town and uh, they'll speed up everything that comes later. So now at this point, um, I've got 725 mana in the bank. I don't have to be quite as desperate and so I can back off the taxes by one. That is going to convert that guy back from a rebel to a worker, which is going to give me a sawmill that much quicker. And uh, what have we got going on over here? So, um, I've got another wizard to find out on mirror, most likely. Speaking of which, uh, there's Oberic Green. Uh, huh, no books in common. Nature, Sorcery, and Chaos. I hate to see the four nature books. I may easily be facing Crack's Call, which is kind of Torin's nemesis. Uh, but um, no life in common. So I don't think we're going to be able to exchange any spells. Yep, that's what I thought. And 
So I do want to, I want to get a scout going over here and uh, so we'll go ahead and summon that. Oh, that's a nice high elf city. Ooh, whole mess of hellhounds up there. Um, we're gonna want to cast endurance when we can. Oh, that looks like a major city. There is Toron's capital. Looks like he's got halflings, which are kind of tough to face. And good. There's into anger Toron sooner than I need to. None of them. Oh wow, she yeah, Sheree's at war with me. I captured one of her cities. Um but uh, I don't want Obrick or Toron to go to war with me any sooner than necessary. So I'd like to kind of uh, get my uh, magic spirit out of there to reduce the irritation. And endurance is for this guy here. Here, where there's maybe safety. Wow, that continent just goes on and on and on. I'm going to do another, well, I'm not going to do alchemy after all. I might need that mana. Um, I'll have this guy head over. I could autopilot it, but there could be enemy forces around there. Wow, that is a whole troop of green pouring past my capital. Okay, we got two defenders here now. Let's, uh, we're gonna need a builder's hall before we can get city walls or granary or much of use. Again, I need to, I'm gonna stick my farming on uh, the city it as a result it'll go it'll grow very slowly but um, and here is uh, Sheree city I think we're ready With uh, prayer, armor, and luck, uh, I think, I think Torin's good here. But uh, there's one more spell Torin can use to toughen up even a little more, which is uh, True Light. His attack will go from 21 to 22. And because Torin is both a regular, a hero, and a fantastic creature of the life domain, uh, that uh, gives him one extra shield with true light. If this had been a real tough fight, it might have been better to save that mana for potential heals. And there we go. I got one fame, 110 gold, 1,000 inhabitants killed, and I've defeated Cherie. That usually is uh, this early in the game that enemy wizards may not have built up enough a mana reserve to be able to. And uh, no spells. And we need to get some defenders going on in this city. I 
going to do the thing again of, uh, that's interesting. Not sure why that is. So all of Cherie's troops, um, all of uh, her, all her cities have gone neutral. All of her troops have disappeared. And uh, trying to get this guy up to safety. Wow, there's another Tauron city. Huh. Okay. So we got red and green. Uh, Weren't those guys fighting a minute ago? Um, um, maybe it's Toron and Sherry. Hope we get up to Toron's capital up there. And uh, I want to buy a spearman because I uh, kind of don't want to wait four turns. We'll do that is uh, heading up here. It's the best route, I think. Yeah. Or the otherwise, I have to do a whole mess of backtracking. I hate to get Tauron so far away from my capital if uh, Oberic decides he's uh, angry at me. Um, that's a problem. But. I don't think there's any way for me and Obert to really be friends. So, can we get that spearman on his way? And because of all, all the mountains and forests, I don't know how much it helps, but I want to get endurance going on Torin here. It may help him here and there. He might as well move as fast as he can go and it is time to explore ah an undefended layer 50 gold that's pretty high to be on the gold here so let's uh knock it down a little if uh i lose one of my lightly defended cities like the the two purple ones i've captured there then uh, i'll lose a bunch of gold the lower my gold reserve, the less I'll lose. So I want to keep that fairly small. Okay, now that I've got a sawmill, I can go for a Forester's Guild. Actually, I think I'll go for a Shrine first. I need to get up to a temple and an animus guild to get rangers. And I just kind of remembered how badly I need rangers. Whoa! There is the yellow capital. Wow! Wow, I would not have opened up that tower if I realized how close that capital is. Who have we found? Cicera? Cicera does have one life book in common with me, so he can use my life spells. We're very relaxed. Let's see if we want to trade. I dispel magic, maybe. I don't want him to have holy weapon. He's welcome to just cause or true sight. Um... Yeah, Dispel Magic can help me out. So, uh, yeah, have, have uh, True Sight. That's good against death, which I will never be throwing at him. And I don't want him going to war anytime soon, so uh, I want to know what's going on with this continent, but... I want to avoid provoking a uh, sister there. So normally the shouldn't attack. It's 
kind of nerve-wracking. I've got such uh, tiny light defenses here. Um, and uh, Oberg has forces pouring past my capital all the time. If he uh, decides to attack me, I'm in a lot of trouble. I don't think I could turn that back. That would be uh, game over in effect. But uh, normally wizards won't attack me until they declare war. So if they declare war, I gotta get I gotta get on over it right away. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna wait a turn and hope that Hellhound moves. Wow, Great Drake. No, no way we're taking on Great Drake anytime soon. Weird. Toron just ran right into me. That path might have been... Uh, the path... Those um, creatures might have been on a path already, and uh, they just happened to be in it. That's unfortunate. We didn't want to go to Toron. We didn't want to go to war with Toron so soon. But, you know, it is what it is. I really don't think uh, the wizard Toron can uh, do much to hurt me at this point. against spearmen. First thing we need is prayer. That's going to be all I get mostly, I think, too. Oh, man. And a fire elemental. Do we got anything else I can cast? Um, Alright, so Bless will give me a couple extra shields against Chaos, which is what Hellhounds and... Uh, Fire Elementals are, but wow, Fire Elemental hitting for 12, I'm hitting for 1. Nothing. Oh well. <laughs> lightning. Hellhounds, Fire Elemental, and if, as if that wasn't enough, Lightning. And I've lost that city. I've lost one fame, 60 gold pieces, and the city was completely destroyed. Taran, I hate you. You and I shall treat well together, so long as you acknowledge my superiority. You bet you, Sisera. You are superior, as superior as you want to be. Right up until I uh, get where I can attack your city. Now that we're at war with Tauron, we want to both, uh, we want to cost him mana, and we want to build uh, Tauron's experience, and we want to cost Tauron troops so they're not destroying their cities. We still might lose all our lightly defended cities, to be honest. Shaman, very weak because I've got magic immunity. Sprites, really my magic spirit isn't tough enough to fight anything. Good, good. Um, looks like we're going to get to fight a hero unless it runs away. Shadow Demons are pretty tough, but a great matchup for Torin. Okay, 
I got this barbarian neutral town here, which I really like it paying taxes for me, but Toron's troops are going to be beating the crap out of me um, until I uh, can decapitate him. So I got to make a beeline for his uh, capital there. You know, I'm just not even going to cast prayer. Don't need it. Watch me get wounded and wish I had prayer. No wounding. Even though magic spirits look like they're flying around, they're actually just uh, like water walkers. Excellent. We completed a shrine. Let's now build a temple. Getting that ranger as soon as possible is really valuable for me at this stage. And eight turns away from another spearman. Um, really kind of asking myself if it's worth it trying to defend that city. I'm just not sure. Sometimes the computer forgets to lose its mood. Cicero's cities are Phantom Beast. Oh, there's that tower on the other side. And uh, just doing some. Unfortunately, magic spirits are non corporeal, and so they cannot use. So that's actually out of my way to go chasing after those troops. So I'm not going to get distracted. Uh, you know what? I don't think I ever checked Basilisk. Wow, Slinger. I also have missile immunity, so slingers are uh, not going to be uh, accomplishing much against me.
four bears we're finally closing in on Torrens capital there a lot of exploring to do which I actually like sky drinks way above our pay grade so to speak There we go. Trying to find a little bit more passable terrain. And oh my gosh. Toron at war with me, dropping a curse on my city. Toron, I really hate you, dude. We're going to have words. Okay, facing nine hellhounds. I feel up to the battle. And I got a feeling Toron might have overextended his mana here. And uh, might be at zero mana which would be a Torah defeat then. Well, okay, he had some mana because uh, he managed to uh, cast this Fire Elemental somehow. I really should have checked his mana before this fight to have a better sense of exactly what I was facing. The less I go uh, trooping through this town, Less, the fewer the population will get killed and the fewer buildings destroyed. So I'm looking for the minimum amount of uh, fighting in town that I can pull off. Still going to have to do some because uh, these guys are just lurking and you're going to have to go into fight them. There we go. Don't want us to destroy it. I need the taxpayers. You've gained two fame, 340 gold. Nice. And I defeat Toron. He got to well. And that's nice. Every one of his troops will disappear. I got a summoning circle. That is a very valuable spell. There's some kind of city in here, uh, probably. Oh, maybe not. I guess not. There we go. Trolls are... I like having trolls on my team. Okay. So, our capital is... Uh, Wow, there's a green city over here now. Um, our capitals have a lot of green troops come pouring through. So uh, we're going to want to get over and, and uh, explore what's going on. Don't want to have don't want to have such a big build, build up. Although now that I've got a thousand in mana, I can ask myself. Can I afford, oh, oops, dang it. Forgot to build a defender. Um, oh, three turns. Okay, let's get another spearman here. 10 halflings. Halflings are great farmers, by the way. So, We're going to do the thing of, what is this going to look like? All right, we got enough food here at the moment. Um, I got to believe that uh, Oberick Green is somewhere over on the left, because that's where his troops have been pouring in from. 
and I'm at a lot of risk of Ulbrich deciding to go to war with me and wiping out my capital before I can get back to it. How much would it cost me to speed up this temple project? 122 would get it done three turns sooner. I think that's a good, because uh, I'm not going to have rangers until that gets done. So that's a good trade-off. I'm going to need to make sure I get troops go or uh, garrison forces going on there. Trying to think. Just in case Ulbrich de declares war on me at some point here, I need to be heading back toward my capital at the best possible speed. But that said, I might as well uh, have a conquest or two along the way. Similarly, this magic spirit needs to go scout out Ulbrich here. Wish to enter Gargoyles. Do I want to take a turn and go back and defeat those gargoyles? I defeated them pretty handily last time. But the prophet is in taking the fight to Oberic. So that's what I better do. Alright, I got a temple and now I need to go to work on an animus guild. This reduces unrest by one. It increases each farmer's food harvest by one, and it allows me to produce rangers, which is what I really want. Twelve turns. That's a lot of turns. I'm just... What has this got in it? This is such a... These little tiny towns are just kind of not worth it. this one. Um, go to work on your granary. We want to be ready to win Oberic when it's time. I mean, uh, mirror. So, I just need to know what's going on over this continent. Using the waterway to accomplish safe travel. And see, even though my movement is uh, three, stop me right in one after one square. So, control. Oh, that was just a spearman. Oh, my goodness. Well. fight ghouls. I do really kind of feel like it's worth it to uh, go take over that city. That's a pretty well-developed city there. That's an angel. Sprites. for five, I think they uh, conceivably could wound me. Let's cast prayer just to be sure. And we're just going to auto on this fight with Toron. There we go. 
I got 43 gold. And to uh, buy some garrison forces here. Five turns. I'm going to. Three turns. Let's kind of let that go for the moment. Okay, now that I got a couple spearmen here and some granary, let's uh, do a little farming. In fact, let's go look at our uh, capital here. So I've had a farmer going on my capital. Does it make any difference? Nine turns, eight turns. It looks like it saves me a turn. Um, I'm going to have two halflings farming just for safety's sake. City of Barbarians, okay. What's going on with this whole map, I wonder? Okay, I kind of want to continue on to the left, kind of here, uh, kind of counterclockwise in my uh, exploration to understand where yellow is. I could certainly have Toron spend a lot of time subduing neutral cities, but beating Oberic before he goes to war, I mean, Oberic's powerful enough that he could wipe out my capital very easily. So arguably I should be defending it better. I think that he won't attack me that aggressively. We will find out if I'm wrong about that. Okay, the only way here is through this tower. It's kind of blocking the road. Whoa, phantom beasts. Oh my gosh. So... Last true sight. Two turns. Well, that sucks. There's just no way around, and uh, on second thought, let's not cast it. Um, let's just go ahead and go the long way around. Should have thought that through a little better. whole mess of fire giants there. I think Tauron's good for fire giants, but well, I'm up to 600 gold, and I'm kind of feeling okay with the mana. Uh, what it cost to get an end? Oh, I could have an Animus Guild right now. take four turns, but that's what it is. Might be able to pay money to accelerate that. All right, now that we've got a granary, let's build a couple slingers because uh, it's going to take a while, but they're really good defenders. That'll all 
also reduce the unrest. But where were those uh, stack of fire giants we were seeing? I saw some fire giants run by. Where were they? Over here? Just not seeing them. More wraiths. I actually think Tauron can take on wraiths. And I need to take a break right here. 